What's up, buddy? Hello. Hey, socks, socks, Jordy, Jordy, socks. Um, Hello. Jordy. Hello. I hey, I recognize that picture. That uh, someone with that anime picture has been telling me to fuck myself for wh probably the whole week. Oh, was I don't know if it was you. Not me. Okay. No. No big deal. Okay, so, Sox, I know you had some questions for him uh, in here, and I'll let I you go ahead and I did! Ask. But first, I wanted to reference the Fine Young Capitalists. First, I just wanted to make clear that uh, I put the... Yeah, I will link it in the Skype chat for you, so you can do some reading if you want. That's totally up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> uh, if you scroll down, it, it details their reality. They believe in the patriarchy theory. They are rad femmes. I've spoken with several of the members of the Fine Young Capitalists at length. Mm -hmm. And what they do have to say is that women are valuable and tech companies aren't hiring them. So they're trying to bypass that and promote women in video game uh, production. Basically. That sounds great. It is. And we How thought could it was be involved with Gamergate, who are just such a giant group of woman-hating assholes. But we're not a giant group of woman-hating assholes. You it's absolutely only your are. perception of, oh, I, I beg to differ. Um, I do actually have a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Sure. How in the same breath can you list actual real-life issues that are affecting women all over the world and have been affecting women throughout history? I agree with you there. And, you know, one of the greatest tragedies to ever occur in the you know, span of human history to the greatest ethnic cleansing ever, um, and then go on to advocate the return of those said death camps to be used against members of Gamergate, and to belittle, dehumanize, and erase the thoughts and opinions and agency of thousands of women and minorities who do support Gamergate on the basis, basis of ethics in video games journalism and the industry as a whole. Well, it's pretty simple. I disagree with everyone of Gamergate's tenets. I believe it's an evil organization that is doing nothing but dragging women down. Any but, feminists that are participating in it are, you know, basically, you know, sabotaging the overall cause, in my opinion. And for that reason, I'm totally comfortable with, you know, saying give it. I'm fine with everyone in Gamergate, you know rolling off a cliff like a bunch of lemmings I don't you know and was, and you know unfortunately some of those people are going to be well, Jordy uh, I, I don't mean to interject here but do you can you explain how they're evil though can you like I did you find the links yet or anything that you can show why we're evil or explain <sighs> in detail I think a lot of people want to know why we're evil if you think that way if you guys don't realize it then me showing you is not going to make you realize it I believe a lot of people um, when she asked for X amount of money, and then out of nowhere, people donated. Does anyone remember what the final number was? It's like no, 100. No, it's 100, 100, a little over 100K. Go ahead. Go a ahead. little over 100K, which just blew everyone's expectations out of the water. Right. Now, me personally and a lot of other people that I talked to thought that that was a sign that of a, a silent majority that... We're so tired of just the general bullshit having to do, you know, the, of women in video games, the, the many different, you know, shortcomings that needed to be rectified to have them as, uh, you know, in the positions narratively and uh, otherwise that they should be. Uh, so that's why she got all that money. I'm sure she was completely surprised by it, and I'm sure that she didn't have the expertise to use $100,000, but I don't... Because I believe she's right, absolutely, with all of my heart. All of my heart. I have no doubt. I'm not going to change my mind. You, no one can okay. ever change. Because I believe that, and because Gamergate is, in general, against her efforts, I believe Gamergate is evil because I believe she is good. I believe she's a force of absolute good, and thus I believe Gamergate is okay. a force of Okay, let me, evil. Hold, hold for on, one hold second. On, hold on, Sox, I have to ask. But, uh, Jordy disagreeing with what Anita Sarkeesian believes in or what she, uh, her ideology or ideologue that she is, doesn't mean that Gamergate is evil. They just disagree with what she has to say. No, that's not true. It's not like she is saying that she enjoys Sprite over 7-Up. She's saying that women deserve X things that they've been denied, and Gamergate is saying, no, they don't. Fuck them. I mean, she's no, not that really is saying not that, okay. though. I, no, okay. Again, that's where we disagree again. I'm saying that you are saying that. Well, 
And I'm saying well, she... Let's, well, let's not, let's not butter this. Let's be detailed. She states that there is sexism in video games, that the damsel in distress trope is a real thing. That, yep. that if you play a game and save Princess Peach in that extent, then you can, uh, you can be inherently misogynist or sexist in real life. Now, let's use that in the comparison of video game violence versus real world violence. We had many studies on that by scientists, and they were peer reviewed many times over and over again, and actually showed that uh, suggested studies showed many times over that it is proofly factual that the only thing that video games has ever adhered to was possible gambling addiction types or escapism, and not any type of video game violence. It actually curbed violence in, in Wait, statistical scores. Correct. I mean, good. Okay. I agree that but, it doesn't cause violence. But right, right. Okay, where's the peer-reviewed? Show I'm, me the peer-reviewed paper that studied misogyny. Okay, give me a minute on that, Jordy. I'll pull up about like ten different statistics. Socks, you can do it for me while I'm discussing this. But what I'm saying is, is if video games do not make people kill people in real life, why would me saving Princess Peach make me hate women or be sexist towards women or misogynistic towards women in real life? You can't have your cake and eat it too. It does not work. Hey. I'm not having cake and eating it too. It's, I'm a, having... it's a metaphor. I, I know, I'm using your same metaphor. Right. I know it's a metaphor. Okay. Violence is. I'm having cake and then I'm having, uh, you know, a. a oh, apple. you guys. No, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> it, here's the line, okay? If video games don't make you a crazy psychopath out going out to kill people. How do they then make you a crazy misogynist out to oppress women? It's more subtle than that. How does it reinforce the patriarchy theory then in society? How does it perpetuate that? It's really straightforward. I mean, it's it's a straightforward and subtle, you know, well, so, in, you're, impact on society. You're saying that video game uh, violence, violence from video games is nothing compared to being sexist or misogynistic. Uh, we can attribute misogyny to real-world violence easily. Look at domestic violences. Uh, prime example, if you want to be stereotypical, is my dinner's cold, bitch, or things like that. Uh, yep. or I came home. Yeah, but that is real-world violence. Yep. Because obviously the response to that would be what? He would, yeah. hit, he would hit his wife, right? Yeah, sure, but that's but that's, that's caused by misogyny, not the video game. What I'm saying is, is that if video game violence does not create real world violence, then then set games you saving a princess is not going to make you sexist or misogynistic and start at sto as you quoted <sighs> a stone. Away How do you know that they're two different things? It's not that very often. If one thing does not adhere to real world uh, an attribute then another will not. It is kind of a blanket thing. You can look at it all the way down the road. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Like I said, you can't have your cake and eat it too. If one thing does not do it, then the other will not. It just doesn't affect that. If video games do not make you do things in real life unless you were already mentally unhinged. It's the same thing as I used with the John Lennon statement would happen to him. A book, a book will not make you go out and shoot people if you read it unless, you stay, unless you're men mentally unstable in the begin with then there is a third party involved or anything like that. So you cannot just say that. It doesn't work that way. Um, well, I believe that there might be some sort of subconscious impact, but it doesn't actually matter because the video games, just like movies that have objectionable content in, ter in terms of misogyny or, you know, s picture sets or whatever the fuck, you know, magazines, they reflect society. They don't create it. Why not make your guys' own type of video games for that then? No one's stopping you. Just use the money and do it. Wouldn't that suggest that? Since it is a free market, you're allowed to do that. No one's going to tell you not to do that. Why not just make your own video games to adhere to what you believe in? I mean, there's, a lot, there's lots of reasons for that. I mean, there are publishers, right? So you're going to, get, you're going to be able to get more backing, better staff, etc., and better distribution if you're able to be distributed by a major game company, and if your game that is, you know, well, let's, yay, well, let's, let's, yay, it's good for us, they might not like well, that well, subject let's matter. Let's use Anita Sarkeesian, for example. She's gotten tours at EA. She's gotten awards, as you will, and, and all this other stuff for being so great. I mean, she literally is affecting Mirror's Edge, too, let's be honest. I mean, she changed the controlling aspect of it. They had to stop what they're doing to change the controls for it because she didn't like how the controls felt. She also tested the, uh, the, the, I can't remember the name of it. It's that, the, uh, the cultist, the occult, occult, cultist rift or whatever. Uh, I mean, 
I think that if she wanted it, it could have happened. So, like I said, who's stopping them from, or, or the anti-gamer gets like, from making the games that they are so angry about? There's no one stopping you, so why not make them? If the, oh, if the God, market... you just said there's, there's no one stopping us. Take a look at the fucking chat. The chat isn't stopping you from making a game. The chat, yeah, they are. How? They're just talking. They can't stop you. If you want to go make a game based oh, on... Okay. Oh, really? Okay, well, I guess there's no reason for anyone to uh, say anything. You know, like, when I posted those uh, essays on my Facebook, immediately they were became under review for having nudity in them, which they didn't have, because they were, people were trying to get the essays taken down. And that is the way that... Gamergate affects anything that but, they don't. But do you have solid evidence that Gamergate did that? Did somebody use the hashtag in a tweet saying, look what I did? I mean, I'm sure that it was someone with a similar mindset but to But it's not, it's, a, it's assumptions, not solid evidence, correct? Oh, for Christ's sake. Like, I can look at anyone in, I can look at anyone in Gamergate and know that they're a fucking asshole. I believe that the plight of women is the new moral exemplar, you know? If, you, if you, you can name them, it's like, you know, betrayal and death of Christ, World Trade Center, Holocaust, plight of women. But people look at that and they say, plight of women? That doesn't even belong on the list. I will tell you, I think that it is actually worse than all of the other three combined, and not, it's really not even particularly close. So, you know, I, that's why I say I want Gamergate gone, you know, dead, disbanded. Now, let me ask you this. Um, I'm going to read something that you wrote, and then I'm going to ask you, do you think this sounds hypocritical, okay? Okay. All right. You said, I assume you have had some, some problem with something I said on Twitter about Gamergate. Well, guess what? Fuck Gamergate. Every worthless piece of shit in it. Yes, the women, too. Yes, the minorities, too. I'd say the same about women and minorities who join the KGB or the Nazis. Now, you say you're for women... But you're you're wanting to burn anybody who you, anybody who's a minority or a woman as well, because they I mean the same way. To use this labored comparison again, uh, I you know I would do it the same way that you would immediately shoot a traitor who was like giving the Nazis information about your sacred escape route from Birkenau. You know, like these are these are basically. You know, traitors that are making the world worse for every woman in it. Okay. All every right. future woman. So yes, I don't care. Okay. I would have no. I would literally have no problem if all these fucking, you know, Republican fucking d bags. Okay. Right. And so you're saying you want to push, I don't know, gamer gators, whatever you want to call them, into gas chambers for being gamers, right? No, for being fucking assholes. Right, okay, Misogynist well, okay. pricks, right-wing dickheads, fucking gun-toting dingleberries. So you, you think they deserve it for being right-wing? I think they deserve it for being an actual damaging force in multiple countries and societies in the world over that have, are sabotaging women, have been for years. I'm finished with it. I'm Do you totally know that the finished. Germans oh, said exactly on, the same thing about the Jews in Germany? Wrong. Yeah, but that makes you wrong. I'm not fucking wrong. 